player, supporter, saviour, Mel Nurse has been all these things and more to his hometown football club. He served Swansea Town with distinction in two spells between 1955 and 1971 and also played for Wales alongside legends like John and Mel Charles, Ivor Allchurch and Cliff Jones. Mel Nurse is one of those special people that makes Swansea such a great place to live. He's unassuming and yet he's done so many great things in his life and he still considers Swansea to be his home. Growing up in Manselton, um, a real golden generation of footballers with the Charles brothers just up the road and playing football till it got dark every night. Uh, and then playing for his hometown. And after that, going around the world, playing football, meeting some great people, but still keeping his roots very firmly in the sandfields and in Swansea. His senior career started in 1955, and shortly after the Munich air disaster in 1958, Swansea turned down a bid of £35,000 from Manchester United. But two years later, Middlesbrough came along, and their offer of £25,000, a club record fee at the time, was accepted. Um, Mel, Mel keeps uh, reminding me of is when he was playing for Middlesbrough, he came to the vet field, and uh, the plan was that he was going to stay over because he's a Swansea boy. Uh, but he scored the winning goal to send the Swans down. Mel jumped the pack on the bus to Middlesbrough. It was during his Middlesbrough days that Mel decided to buy hotels along Oystermouth Road on Swansea seafront. He returned to Swansea Town in the late 1960s and during his two stints at the Swans he made 257 league appearances. He also played a dozen times for Wales in what was a golden era for Welsh football. I'd like to wish Mel uh, congratulations uh, from everybody at Swansea City Football Club, from myself personally. Uh, I think everybody connected with the club. I think they've uh, really appreciated what Mel has done, uh, not only his, from his, uh, his playing ability, uh, from his time as a player, but certainly in, in the role that he played in making sure that the club survived uh, and to be thriving where we are today. Mel Nurse is, is one of the good guys. Um, uh, whenever you speak to him, any dealings you, you have with him, uh, I think his passion for, for Swansea and Swansea City, Swansea Town as well, uh, shines through and I think um, it, it, that's, that's obvious from the, the feats that he's achieved during his lifetime. When he finished his playing career in the early 1970s, he concentrated on building up his property portfolio. He became a director of Swansea City and used his business know-how and his money to save the Swans from financial extinction. He and others who loved the club stepped in when it faced financial meltdown in 2000 and he also intervened a year later during businessman Tony Petty's time at the helm. I'd just like to congratulate Mel on receiving the freedom of the city of Swansea on behalf of the football club and everybody in Swansea really. Uh, Mel has been part of the community for years and years, played at the club in the 60s and uh, is well known for that and of course in our time of need Mel was there when, when Swansea City Football Club was struggling and, and needed his help, he was there as he always has been. And really, Mel, just to congratulate you and say well done, and I hope you enjoy it, and um, I'll see you on Sunday. Mel himself has modestly said, we came together as a city to make sure our football club survived. Perhaps more accurately, the football club has said about Mel Nurse, there are no words that can express the gratitude that everyone who loves Swansea City owes this great man. He is a true local hero who has played a vital role in the current success of the club. Known as Mr Swansea to many, it's not hard to imagine that without his leadership and considerable personal financial investment, the Swans would have ceased to exist. Uh, congratulations Mel and uh, well done on receiving the uh, award of Freedom of the City. This is a very special honour for you, but actually it's a very special honour for the city. You have done so much for this town and the city and especially this football club. Uh, we as a city honour you with this, with this freedom. It's more than well deserved. I know you're the sort of guy who will, will play it down, but it's a big honour and you deserve it, Mel. And we're all big fans of yours.